I'm a huge fan of the use of generic drugs. Anything that reduces the cost to our patients uh, reduces the overall cost to the NHS. And certainly as an oncologist, what we've observed today is that the NHS has been willing to use that money to make the next uh, uh, lot of drugs uh, available. And although NICE can and does come in for a lot of criticism on many occasions, what it has been very successful in has been in driving down the cost of drugs. Um, and although most of this information is absolutely top secret, I think most of us are quite aware that, you know, uh, these drugs are being made available in the UK cheaper than in, um, in other um, settings. With that said, um, uh, I, I think we, when we move to biosimilars rather than generic drugs, we have to be aware that antibodies are not like making uh, a chemical compound. There are differences in terms of the glycosylation pattern of, of these molecules, the, the different way the protein might fold. Um, and although, and that's why they're called similar and not absolutely identical. Um, clearly for a biosimilar to be made available, uh, some degree of clinical trials have to be done to showing equivalence, but how do you define equivalence? And particularly when we're using chemoimmunotherapy, a lot of the biosimilar antibodies are being released as being equivalent to rituximab on the basis of having looked at one indication. So I think many of us have some concerns about is a biosimilar really going to be absolutely as effective as uh, the original uh, parent molecule? I, I think time will tell. Um, and of course, uh, unfortunately, the savings that you make for a biosimilar are nowhere near what you make on a generic. Uh, so a generic imatinib compared to a generic uh, or biosimilar rituximab has a very different price, pricing differential. My expectation is that, you know, how how small a saving would be required for, for NICE to move, uh, I think, pennies would be would be enough. I, I think any saving would be a, enough to uh, uh, to move to move that uh, to take uh, that field. I think if price came out of the equation, personally, um, if I had access to rituximab and a biosimilar at exactly the same price, why would I change? My expectation is the biosimilars will come in cheaper and I suspect within the NHS I will have no choice but the antibody that's available on the shelf by the pharmacist will be the cheapest available antibody. And uh, I think we'll be watching very closely to ensure that we are not seeing differences in outcome from what we would expect.